NVIDIA GeForce 256 graphics cards. Bubble, 1999. An undulating blob demonstrated how cube environment mapping allowed for amazing reflection effects. Grass, 2000. With up to 10,000 individual blades of grass and multi-pass clouds, the grass demo lets you manipulate the weather to see how these objects react in real time. Crystal Ball, 2000. The Crystal Ball demo showcased the rendering abilities of the second generation TNL engine with a high detailed castle. GeForce 2 Series Graphics Cards Lightning 2000 The Lightning Engine was used to create a realistic lighting and sparks on a metal plate to demonstrate real-time lighting and per-pixel lighting. Small Pond 2000 The Small Pond demo showcased how transform and lighting, per-pixel shading, and cube environment mapping could be used to render realistic weather. Toy Soldier, 2000. 50 toy soldiers march and cast real-time shadows and reflections in this demo. Groove, 2000. Groove featured multiple trees and unlimited lighting sources to showcase the transformation and lighting abilities of the current generation of GeForce GPUs. Creature 2001 The Creature demo showcased lighting and per-pixel shading like never before in a beautifully lit underwater scene. GeForce 3 Series Graphics Cards Principles of Shading 2001 The Principles of Shading demo compared the varying levels of realism as you mix and match textures on NVIDIA's 3D logo. Chameleon, 2001. This Infinite FX engine demo showed a chameleon that could do more than simply change the color of its skin, thanks to the power of shading effects. Zoltar the Magnificent, 2001. An animated fortune teller that would deliver a critical snippet of advice at the press of a button. You cannot get ahead while getting even. GeForce 4 Series Graphics Cards Wolfman 2001 Wolfman was the first demo to use real-time volumetric fur rendering on a fully animated character model. Squid 2002 Squid featured one of the largest and strangest deep-sea creatures anyone has ever seen. Bugs, 2002. The Bugs demo used a swarm of alien bugs to demonstrate the beauty of our accelerated anti-aliasing hardware. Tidepool, 2002. NVIDIA's Infinite FX2 engine brought the rendering of water to a whole new level with Tidepool. GeForce FX series graphics cards. Time Machine, 2003. Using the power of the programmable GeForce FX Pixel Engine, the Time Machine took you through the history of a neglected 1950s pickup truck. By blending a variety of material surface effects into a single shader program, you could watch as damage and neglect turn the truck from pristine condition to an old rust bucket. Last Chance Gas Ultra, 2003. Last Chance Gas Ultra was designed to allow you experience the beauty of the great outdoors. You could watch the sun rise over the desert, observe the sky as it changed color and faded with the sun's movement, and see the heat shimmer off the road. Ogre, 2003. This dancing ogre was a real-time rendition of a movie originally created by Spellcraft Studios titled, Yeah, the Movie. Toys, 2003. 
Toys was a world of imagination where two young boys staged their own War of the Worlds with props from their toy box. The tang! Kill him with the tang! Vulcan, 2003. Vulcan, the god of fire, toiled at his anvil, forging the metals of the earth when one of the sparks of his forge took flight. G4 6 Series Graphics Cards. Clear Sailing, 2004. To demonstrate how powerful vertex and fragment shaders could create effects that were not possible before, the Clear Sailing demo sent a pirate ship to outrun the most feared captain of the Royal Navy. Timbury, 2004. Timbury was an odd man that demonstrated that the current GPUs could handle 32-bit or 16-bit floating point data with ease. Blobby Dancer, 2004. Blobby Dancer for AMD64 was a liquid-like dancer that moved and grooved in a surreal disco world of music, light, and color. G47 Series Graphics Cards. Mad Mod Mike, 2005. Mad Mon Mike was a community hero that would slip into bedrooms at night and transform the decrepit, underpowered computers of deserving gamers into well, raging performance beasts. Geoforms, 2006. In a dimension where objects were shaped by sound, these geoforms expressed themselves by moving like liquid to the beat. GeForce 8 Series Graphics Card Box of Smoke, 2006 As its name suggests, this demo is a box full of smoke. Froggy, 2006 The Froggy demo allowed you to massage, pull, poke, prod and slap this high-strung amphibian. Cascades, 2007. In Cascades, you could explore a fantastic world of exhilarating detail and watch as majestic waterfalls cascaded down exotic rock formations while buzzing swarms of dragonfly-like inhabitants dove and play. Human Head, 2007. Human Head delivered a startling leap forward in realism for real-time characters. GeForce GTX 400 series graphics cards. Design Garage, 2010. Design Garage allowed users to interactively create incredibly photorealistic images of some of the fastest and most exclusive vehicles on the road using ray tracing. Stone Giant, 2010. Stone Giant showed how tessellation could be used to create scenes and characters of almost unlimited detail. Unigen Heaven Benchmark, 2010. Heaven was a DirectX 11 benchmark where you could explore a mythical village floating in the cloudy sky. The buildings and structures in the village were highly detailed and realistic thanks to the use of dynamic tessellation, compute shaders, and shader model 5.0. Supersonic Sled, 2010. Taking advantage of PhysX, CUDA, DirectX 11, and 3D Vision, Supersonic Sled strapped you on a high-powered test rocket and hurled you down a six-mile-long track in the Nevada desert at speeds in excess of 800 miles an hour. Every moving object in the demo was physically simulated using PhysX and CUDA. GeForce GTX 500 series graphics cards. Alien vs. Triangles, 2010. In this heated battle, multi-dimensional tessellation was used to show realistic surface damage to the alien skin. 
by using four displacement maps as damage layers. The alien skin could show damage such as blisters and wounds, depending on what damage it had taken. Endless City, 2010 Procedurally generated tessellation enabled the creation of a massive, complex city, the likes of which hadn't been seen before. GeForce GTX 600 series graphics cards G-Sync Pendulum Demo 2013 With the Pendulum Demo, see how NVIDIA G-Sync changed gaming by eliminating tearing and minimizing stutter and lag, giving gamers the smoothest, fastest gaming experience. GeForce GTX Titan NVIDIA. Ira, lifelike human face rendering, 2013. Ira represented a big leap forward in capturing and rendering human facial expressions in real time, and gave us a glimpse of the realism we could look forward to in our favorite game characters. Take my money! GeForce GTX 900 series graphics cards. Apollo 11 Lunar Landing Demo, 2015. Powered by Epic's Unreal Engine 4 and NVIDIA's Voxel Global Illumination, VXGI, we explored the Apollo 11 landing site and put the landmark photo of Buzz Aldrin descending to the moon surface to the test. GeForce RTX 20 series graphics cards. Final Fantasy XV, Windows Edition, DLSS Benchmark, 2018. Deep Learning Super Sampling increases performance significantly in FFXV, while simultaneously improving image quality. Justice RTX Tech Demo, 2019. Justice is one of China's most popular MMOs, and in this tech demo, NVIDIA RTX ray traced reflections, shadows, and caustics are demonstrated, along with deep learning super sampling. Atomic Heart RTX Tech Demo, 2019. An early look at Munfish's graphically advanced Atomic Heart, which is enhanced by the addition of advanced ray traced reflections and shadows, and accelerated by the inclusion of deep learning super sampling. Reflections RTX Tech Demo, 2019. Experience advanced ray tracing reflections in a photorealistic environment and accelerate performance with deep learning super sampling. GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards. Marvel's RTX Tech Demo. Marble's RTX is a physics-based minigame level where a player controls a marble around a scene full of obstacles. The Attic RTX Tech Demo This application allows you to toggle ray trace reflections, ray trace translucency, DLSS, RTX Direct Illumination, and RTX Global Illumination to visualize the difference in real time. GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards NVIDIA Racer RTX Racer RTX showcases high fidelity, hyper-realistic physics, and real-time ray tracing enabled by Omniverse, and 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, running with ADA and the new DLSS3 technology. <laughs> 